Hey guys, so I have been doing a lot of videos lately about all the limited edition collections that they have at Dollar Tree right now, and there are definitely some great ones out there, and in, in my opinion, they are worth picking up, and I will continue to feature those products because there were so many things released all at once that um, I didn't want to do those videos and nothing else, but it got me thinking, what about all the products that aren't limited edition at Dollar Tree for makeup? What are the best things? And what I'm about to show you today is, in my opinion, the very best of what you can find on a regular basis um, that isn't going to be hard to find. Things that are going to be in that regular makeup section that you can pick up anytime you want. And I think you would be happy with all the things that I'm about to show you. And I am going to go through them pretty fast because there's actually a lot out there that is worth buying. And I'm going to show them to you in the order in which I would apply them to my face. Some of the things that I'm wearing, some of the things I am not because I only have one face. I can only fit so many products on my face. But um, there are some areas that I would love to see improvement and that is um, foundations to me are a weak area. Um, I really wish that they would release some kind of a full coverage foundation at Dollar Tree because uh, that's something that they definitely need. All right, so let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is the Be Pure Hydrating Primer Serum. For the longest time, I thought I was allergic to roses, but I'm realizing now that I am not because there is rose oil in this primer and it does not bother me at all. And I even bought a perfume recently that has uh, rose oil or rose essence in it, and that doesn't bother me at all. So anyways, this is a great hydrating primer and I use this pretty much every day and I've already used quite a bit of it but that's my primer that I use then I go in with a corrector and then after I apply my corrector this is the concealer that I've been using this is the Be Pure Hydrating Under Eye Concealer this is the shade Fair which I admit that even though this is a permanent product, it is very hard to get this shade fair because the concealer only comes in two colors and this seems to be the color that people buy um, because anybody who's fair to light buys this one and then they have medium and anybody who is medium or dark seems to buy that one. But um, I do really like this and when I first did like a little swatch when I bought it. I thought, oh, this is going to be too yellow. It's not. When it's blended in, it's fine. And then once you put your foundation and everything on top of it. Yeah, I, I like this concealer. You're going to see a recurring theme with um, some of these products because I do have somewhat dry skin. So anything that says hydrating, I like it. Okay, the next thing I would recommend is the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blurring Pressed Powder. And this only comes in two shades. This is light medium, and then they have medium dark or medium deep. And um, this is a very nice powder. It's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. And I am wearing it today. Now, I don't wear powder every single day. It depends on what I'm doing for blush. But because of what I wanted to do for blush today, that's why I decided to um, go with this. Or well, that's why I decided I decided to wear it is what I'm trying to say. So that is a very nice powder. And then for blush, I recommend the Be Pure Essentially Ageless blushes. And what I do is I mix the two colors because it only they only come in two colors I mix just peachy with poppy pink to get that peachy pink blush that everybody loves so much so that is what I'm wearing today for blush is this these two shades mixed but it is a very nice formula and this um, 
This also has some good ingredients in it. It has camellia oil. And apparently that doesn't bother me either. I think I am allergic to some flowers, but I don't know now which ones. I used to just avoid anything with floral extracts completely, but I'm realizing now that it's only certain ones that bother me. But I really like those. Okay, and the next thing I want to recommend I'm not wearing because I didn't think it would go with this makeup look that I decided to do today. But this is an excellent highlighter. This is the LA Colors Conceal Correct Highlighter, and it's white. So I prefer to use this when I'm doing cool tone looks. So the highlighter that I have on today is actually limited edition. But yes, I highly recommend this. I think it's beautiful. It's stunning. But I only like it when I'm doing cool tone looks. But I definitely recommend that. And this next thing I use in a way that it's not intended to be used that way, and that is the LA Colors Contour Stick. Uh, I am wearing medium right now as an eyeshadow base, but I also have the color tan. So depending on what I'm doing on my eyes, I use either tan or medium. Uh, now th these aren't the only eyeshadow sticks that I use as a base. As you know, I love the ColourPop one in Bear With Me, and I use that one when I'm doing either a cool tone or some neutral looks, but today I have on medium. So I love those as an eyeshadow base, not as a contour. All right, the next thing I'm going to talk about is eyeshadow. And I love the way my eyeshadow turned out today, and I am wearing one of the LA Colors six pan palettes and this one is in the shade Oat. It's spelled H-A-U-T-E and um, I used I used this shade as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. I used this shade in the crease and then I use this in the outer portion of my eye. I use this on the first like three quarters of my lids. And then, you know, I already said I use that in the, no, I used that one in the crease. Okay, so I did not use this shade and I did not use this shade, but I used all the others. But yeah, these eyeshadows are so nice. I think you would be very happy with any of them. There's also one called Almost Nude. I've used that. I love that one, too. This is Playful. This is the first one that I bought that made me realize that these were actually good palettes. This one I have not tried yet. I just got it recently. That's called Fling. I have also not tried this one yet. It's called Night Out. This one I bought because I thought it would be great for St. Patrick's Day. It's called Lucky because it's got a lot of greens in it. And St. Patrick's Day is this coming weekend, so I'm going to have to work do that soon. But these are great palettes, and you see them all the time at Dollar Tree. However, those aren't the only great palettes at Dollar Tree in the permanent section. I've talked about this before, so you may know what I'm going to say. The three pan palettes by LA Colors are great as well. We have Lotus. I just used this one recently in a video. I used that gold. We have Iris. Some of these color combinations are kind of strange, like you wouldn't want to do a whole look just with those colors, but they're great like fill-ins to pull in with other palettes a lot of times. Some of them you can do. Um, just on their own, but some of them, the colors don't really go together in my opinion. This is Tumbleweed, that definitely goes together. And then we have Moonflower, you can definitely do a complete look with that one. We have Water Lily, you can, that's a cohesive look for sure right there. And then we have Desert Rose, so that one goes together. 
but um, yeah, these are really nice, and you see them all the time at Dollar Tree, and I think you'd be very happy with any of those. Now for eyeliner, um, I haven't been doing eyeliner every single day lately. I've been doing a lot of eyeshadow as eyeliner, and um, but if I want to do a winged liner, these are definitely what I reach for. These are the LA Colors Eye Markers, and they come in black, brown, and navy. And um, these are really great if you want to do a winged eyeliner, and they're only $1.25. So I really, really enjoy these for a winged eyeliner. Now, for mascara, I just talked yesterday about the Wet n Wild Mega Wear mascara, and that is what I have on today. Uh, this is a very good mascara, but I also wanted to mention the LA Colors mascara that says volumizing and lengthening, the one in the pink tube. Either one of these are very good, especially for $1.25, so you can't go wrong with either one of those. Now for lip products, what I have on my lips right now, I just bought recently and I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. This is the Be Pure Tinted, let me get the name right, Tinted Rose Oil Lip Balm. And I think this is one of those pH color adjusting things uh, because it's clear in the tube and then it's like bright fuchsia on my lips and yeah I was not expecting to love this um, but when I tried it out the other day I kept looking at my makeup because I also had on a very neutral eye that day and I kept looking at my makeup and I was like yeah this bright fuchsia lip that it is on me because it's going to be different on everybody obviously if it's a pH color adjusting thing but yeah, I like that that color with the neutral eye. It's a nice combo, I think. And um, so surprisingly happy with that. And again, the rose doesn't bother me. Uh, but I really like that. But then the other lip products that are permanent at Dollar Tree that I really like are the LA Colors Lip Duo Lipstick and Lip Gloss. You get a lipstick and a lip gloss in there. They come in a bunch of different colors. Um, Twinkle is probably my favorite because you get this gorgeous pink lipstick and then you get this really pretty lip gloss as a topper. I also have used Vibe a lot. Vibe is a purple lipstick with a hot pink gloss. Like I said, I'm just gonna go these, through these quickly. I'm not gonna do swatches. Uh, but you can't go wrong with these. The formula is really nice. You have Eternal, which is a red lipstick with a red gloss. There's Clarity, which is a really nice, like, neutral type color lipstick with a clear gloss. Uh, this is called Flushed. And this is a... This is a red lipstick with a red gloss. And then there is Charmed, which is sort of a plum lipstick with a plum gloss. But, and they smell nice too. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like the formula on these and the color selection is nice but could be improved upon but um yeah i really like those and i've talked about those before so these are my picks for what is permanent at dollar tree and also these roll-on perfumes i think are also permanent and there's strawberry and blueberry i do prefer the blueberry over the strawberry but they are both nice by be pure um, they have, um, they have shimmer in them too, so you may not like it for that, but I really like these fruity scents. Very nice. 
I reach for the blueberry one a lot. <laughs> so those are my picks for Dollar Tree makeup and perfume products that are permanent there that you can get anytime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel when you do. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.